coming! Good day, everyone. I need Swift Sneak badly. I really want it. So I'm gonna go to an ancient city. Echo Shards, Disc, Swift Sneak! What? Oh, he's up there. Look at him go. Oh, we got enchanted gold. Two enchanted golden apples. That's pretty good, actually. All right. Oh, we've got something over. Oh, I did not mean to set you off. I'm going to break you real quick. Oh, template. Cool. Where is he? Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with him. All right, what's in this chest? Swift Snake. Oh, oh, Swift Snake's three. I don't know why I sort of went past that. That's exactly what I came here for. Whoa. No. Yep, I died. I managed to get my stuff back. And more importantly, look at all this loot I got. The most important things though are... I got three Swift Sneak books, two of them being Swift Sneak 3. As you saw, I died in the city, which means I've got no XP. So how am I going to enchant these pants? Well, Fousey has set up an Enderman uh, killing farm for XP. So I need to buy a, a pass, a season pass or a six month pass so I can get access to it. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going, it's going well. Yeah. All right. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull out some diamonds. Wait. How much yeah, does it you cost? Might pull out. Well, do you want the six month for the season pass? What's the price difference? I, are you rich? I've got sixty-two diamonds to my name. Well, the six, see, um, there. The six month pass is sixty-four diamonds. Oh no! Or you can save up and get the one year pass, which is ninety-four. Oh, that's a lot better of a deal. I think I'm going to save up. I might okay, even okay. go mining right now. Okay, I can let you have it now if you really need it. As long as you pay me. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. Can I? Yeah, I'll buy now, pay later. Yeah, yeah. So how much was it? 94? 94 diamonds. Okay, cool. I'll just pay you this for now. So you okay, have my yeah. money. Yeah. Um, and then I, I owe you from like you. 32 diamonds, don't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, we got the pass. Let's use it. All right, so season pass. Place it here. There we go. Walk through. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, I get access. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. Yeah, this is so good. I've only been at this farm for a minute and I'm already at level 30. This is insane. I love Enderman farms. All right, let's do some reflections. Let's look at some good and bad things. First good thing is I've got some beautiful new shorts. That's cool. And another good thing is uh, a bad thing is I'm pretty sure I'm in debt. Um, let's look at my wallet. Oh gosh, it's my IRL wallet. You weren't meant to see that. Okay, my micro. Yeah, um, it's got even more cobwebs in it, but I'm in debt. And I need to go mining because Fousey wants my diamonds and also I need diamonds so I can buy food and other things. Diamond! 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 Oh yeah, I think I have enough to pay back my debts now. I don't know if you could tell, but that spelt my name, Lorikeet, in diamonds. <laughs> But now I've got enough to pay Fousey back. Yippee! I don't know if you watch my other videos on my channel, but I love dinosaurs. And Spaghetti does as well. So, me and Spaghetti are gonna go dinosaur fossil mining. Another eye! Yeah! Let's go! Okay, so what I think we should do, we should spend... How long do you spend mining? 20? 30 minutes? And see how mm -hmm. long we get. Uh, how many we get. And, um... Whoever gets the most, maybe uh, the loser owes them like 10 diamonds or something. Ooh, no, 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 I have something better. Ooh, okay. Loser owes the other one a netherite ingot. <gasps> I like this. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. You think you're ready? All right. Yeah. I'm ready as well. Um, let's start in three, two, one, go. Wait, which way are you Ooh. going? Okay, I'm going, I'm going this west. One. I'm doing the Musha trick. What's the Musha trick? I thought you would ask, and hmm, maybe you should watch Musha videos to find out. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that video, but I don't remember 
I don't remember exactly what I did. Oh! <gasps> Wait! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You found netherite? Oh, ancient debris? Bingo! Hey! Oh! Hey, let's go! Oh, you found more? Oh gosh, I'm gonna owe you a netherite ingot. Let's go! Ingot. Well, at least so far, I don't have a netherite ingot to owe you. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I haven't found this is the any. Hmm, seems like the Musha method might not be reliable. Yeah, Musha. He's lied Musha to me. lied to you. After this, I'll, I'll teach you the patented speak up method. Don't worry. Oh <gasps> No way! You'll get some I found some! How much? Two. Actually, let's keep it a mystery. Let's keep it a mystery. Okay. Oh. <gasps> oh! I found something that... Uh, I found a bird in my mind. It was just flying around. A bird? Yeah, I got excited. Is it like a there. canary? Yeah, it was... It's... It's suffocating. There's no oxygen. Yeah, there's no oxygen. <gasps> oh, I found another canary. Oh, the canary died. Oh, this poor canary. It was in here so long it got turned into a fossil. Whoa. Poor guy. Are you sure it wasn't like a, um, a velociraptor? I mean, you can never be too sure. Hmm. I'm glad you're well, here to, um, mine for dinosaurs because my channel has a lot of dinosaurs on it. Yeah, you know, I I've I've never love been dinosaurs. mining for dinosaurs with anyone in, on my channel before. I I just love mining for fossils. Actually, when I was a kid, I thought I wanted to be a paleontologist. So did I. <gasps> oh my gosh! Whoa, it's a big one. This must be like a um, Pistacosaurus. Saurus. Pistacosaurus. <laughs> I remember uh -huh. the name. Because I, I remember exactly what that looks like and know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Because I mean, it was a bit bigger cool. than a, a Velociraptor fossil. Yeah, it's all like, <gasps> oh my gosh. See, everybody wait, always says T-Rex. Is, is this the... Oh, I thought it was an Avaceratops. It's just a Archaeopteryx. Oh, I know that one. Lori, what is your top 10 favorite dinosaur list? Go. Top 10? Okay. To go 10 to 1. Okay. Archaeopteryx, Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, Herarosaurus, Avaceratops, Compisignathus, which is just a compi, Acrocanthosaurus, Microraptor, 3. Oh no, Microraptor is going to be. Favorite dinosaurs. Microraptor is going to be 2. I know that. Wait, I can't. Come on, keep talking oh, yeah, about dry, dinosaurs. Keep talking about dinosaurs. 3. Yes. Dryosaurus, 3. And then it was Microraptor second, and my favorite dinosaur is a Gallimimus. Oh, that fits you. Yeah, I love a Gallimimus. I don't know why. Yeah, so we mined for about 45 minutes, and after that, we met up to see who has the most debris. I mean, dinosaur fossils. <laughs> and then we'll put our, our stacks in the same container. We can find out who's the winner. You put yours, like, in this box, put mine in this one. All right, ready? Okay. Three. Two, one. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, Lori, I feel so bad. Lori, I actually have this much. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, Lori? Lori, 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 Lori. <laughs> you, don't, you don't owe me anything. I thought I did you well. Know, just give me... You could give me diamonds. <laughs> I don't want to take your 15. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's incredibly sad. No. <laughs> like, you, you're trying to uh, make me feel good by thinking, making me think I won because uh, yeah. you put less in, but I still had less yeah. than half of yours. <laughs> and then it just made me feel worse. <laughs> yeah, so Spaghetti actually felt pretty bad for me, so he gave me an extra fossil, which means I can now make four fossil ingots. Yeah, so now I just have to cook all these up. There we go. There we go. Now I've got 16 netherite scrap and I just need to combine it with some gold. All right, let's do this. Gold there, netherite scrap, and bam, four netherite ingots. And I think I'm going to put these fossils on my sword, both my pickaxes and my shorts. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Now, I think it's about time that I actually set up a shop 
for these breeze rods and also wind charges because there's definitely demand as you can see people buying from my chest and I've also been putting it off for too long so I'm definitely gonna start working on it right now. Alright so this is where I'm gonna put the shop it's right next to Lord Thunderpork's DIY shop and uh, it's gonna connect to the side of the building it's gonna look really cool. But before I do that, I need to show you a clip from when me and Finn were hanging out and he issued me a challenge. So I've been challenging, I've been challenging parts of the server. Look up a random number generator between 1 and 192. Okay, um, let me do that now. Okay, I've got it up. Yep. Okay, let me generate. I got 164. All right. So next, you're going to be looking up a random Minecraft block generator. Okay, let me do that. Okay, I'm rolling my random Minecraft block generator now. Okay, I got... <laughs> I got nether brick block. So, the challenge is, you need to do 164 nether brick blocks uh, and use that mem out in a permanent build. Oh! Preferably oh. in your base, but it doesn't have to be. It can be anywhere on the server. Okay. Preferably I'm... on your base, and you have a week. I have a week? Oh, yeah. gosh. Okay. okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if I did the math correct, this is 164 nether bricks. Let's start the build. All right, now we're in time-lapse mode. So the plan for this build was I wanted to make it sort of breezy colors, like wind, like cloud, air colors. So I went with cyan terracotta, light blue terracotta, and acacia terracotta. And of course I had to add the nether bricks. So I had to find a way to add 164 nether bricks. Um, so I decided to put them on the floors and the ceilings and also the roof. I think it worked out pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, it's finished. So let's have a look at it in game. All right, so the shop is now done. Let me head over there. Here it is. As you can see, it's a bit more detailed than you last saw it on the time lapse. It's got an interior now. Oh, that's my bed. Um, let me get that. Um, so yeah, we've got stock. No one's bought any breeze rods. I've actually been cheeky and I did one diamond per seven. <laughs> um, and it's, oh, we've made sales. Actually, I knew we made sales. I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, one diamond 32. I think that's a pretty good price. Let me know if you think it's a bad price. People pro will probably complain. Um, and then it's 10 diamonds for a head and I've actually got heads to stock this up. I'm gonna do a cool pattern. There we go. Oh, I've got one extra one. Um, where do I put this? Okay, it's a fish now. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much the interior. Finn actually did an upstairs interior because I didn't really know what to do. I think this is cool. So considering he just did it from the stuff he had in, in, in his infantry. You can also go outside. I think this is cool because I wasn't sure if I even was going to do an interior. But yeah, that's nice. And over on this wall, I've got some uh, bushes climbing up the wall. I think that's really cool. And if you look, I think we... Uh, what if I look from back here? If you look from back here, you can see there's actually eyes. It's meant to look like a breeze head. I think that's cool. But yeah, I, used, I utilized clay and pink clay for some different variations in the pots. And every pot has some sort of plant in them. I think that's cool. But yeah, that's my breeze shop. Do you like it? I do. I've had a book in this barrel for a while, which is an invite to a group that wants to make the shopping district better. Um, it was written by Spaghetti, but I'm going to have Lord Thunderpook read it out to you. Dearest Whimsy, the shopping district is the heart and soul of any SMP. This one is no different. Mm. For the body to function normally, the heart needs to be clean and healthy. The same can be said for the shopping district. It's a metaphor. Currently. The district looks to be in a shape, turn page, that one could consider it on the verge of a heart attack. Oh, heaven. <laughs> From a random pop-up shops to dangerous pufferfish traps, this shopping district is in no shape to support our growing community. This is why you are receiving this note, my friend. I believe that, turn page, you are of a similar opinion and could be extremely valuable to helping to organize and beautify the shopping district. That's a sentence and a half. If you accept, we shall meet with the other members and determine the future steps. The only requirement is that you must own a shop to prove that you are 
invested in the shopping district's best interests. Welcome to the Shopping Owners Association. Sincerely, Ri Spigiev. You read that better than I did in my video. What, what a, <laughs> a lovely written letter. Thank you, Lord Thunderbook. Yeah, so myself and five other people being Will, Spaghetti, Lord Thunderpork, Musha, and Crumbled have formed the SOA, which means the Shop Owners Association, or I like to call it the, the Slop Owners Association. <laughs> anyway, seems to be a new shop over there. Um, I'm getting distracted. So I'm going to summarize what happened in our little meeting because it was almost like two hours long. We were, we were talking a lot over like a bunch of different things and we started laying some plans down for some roads as you can see some more shops have popped up one of our plans is to have organized streets with traffic going along it so boats can actually sit on this water here and they'll go down here and they'll be able to turn down this street and go wherever they want they can even go up hill i believe but i don't know if they can go diagonal yeah so if you ever watched hermitcraft season 7 at the end of the season or close to the end b o and scar formed a town called aquatown where they both made a city uh with a bunch of shops this is going to be that but on a more like town scale not not a city scale so um yeah this is some like town shops uh popping up as you can see my one fits right in that there can be another shop plopped in here and uh yeah we're gonna have streets with shops going along it which is gonna be really cool another thing the shop owners association strives for is making the shopping district beautiful so we've sort of blocked off this weird hole to whoa what am i doing this what am I doing? Uh, this weird hole to the void of the world. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me free cam. Yeah, look, it goes all the way down to the void. So we blocked this off. We don't know what to do with this yet. There was also a massive tower that went to world height um, that we've also gotten rid of, which is good. We'll also be making sure that every shop has an ender chest in it. Actually, that makes me think, does this shop have an ender chest in it? It does. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, so like the next day after we had the SOA meeting, Tremonic messaged me to see if he could get a shop along the street, and I sorted him out with this shop. I would show you the footage of me doing that, but the recording is not in the folder where all my recordings go, which sucks, because um, yeah, it was really fun, and he did give us some donations. These donations will help fund the SOA, put some new streets in, uh, beautify the shopping district and we're also going to make an SOA headquarters which is going to go somewhere here. What are these guys doing? Your building has been shut down for breaking a safety hazard. You need to pay 20 dimes and fix this issue for violating a... These guys aren't SOA. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> fix this issue for violating a building safety regulation. regulation. Put diamonds in a chest at your base. Huh? These guys aren't so <laughs> Um, I don't know what we should do about this. Is it my problem, or is, is there another SOA forming? Um, oh gosh, what's he doing over here? Is he putting up a bunch of signs around the place? Hold on, what's going on? Pop-up shop. This this uh, is that a pop-up shop as well? This is just a temporary shop that Spaghetti put up, and Spaghetti's a part of the SOA. Oh my gosh, he's in- What do we do about this? What is he doing? The Building Safety Organization. Wait, I'm gonna unmute, see if he speaks back. Hello, the Building Hello. Safety Hello. Organization. Yeah, yeah. So, this building, this has no building, uh, and therefore we're gonna have to- uh, get that fixed and hey, find them. And then if you come over here, um, yeah. just over to, to be a leaf it, um, there's a fire hazard here. The fire exit is not accessible uh, and therefore breaks uh, a violation uh, of the regulation. Um, but aren't these ladders in real life, aren't they ones that you yank and the full ladder falls down? Yep, like but, but you can't hanging? do that here. You can't do that here. Yeah, you can't do that here. Yep, uh, therefore I need to be fully accessible. Oh my gosh. Um, so who, who are the, who are the, um, building safety organization? Oh, me and Fusey. 
Yeah. That's just you yeah. two? You can okay. Join as well if you want. Yeah. No, I'm We've in the SOA. you just created it in the last five minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, what? No. I'm in the, the SOA. SOA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How we're also we're we're also in charge of doing uh the streets here, which we're working on. Which actually, these streets are in a uh, building violation. Uh, they're a violation of code safety. They aren't uh, finished. And accessibility. Uh, how is someone in a wheelchair meant to get up this one meter high step? How? Explain. It's not finished. But that is unaccessible. There will be and if slabs. it's not finished, where are your safety signs? Where are your safety signs warning people that construction <laughs> is active? There could um... be a hole right here. Right, or you could leave some equipment, like a jackhammer or something, and then someone could fall on it. Uh, so, so where are the signs? Right here. Um. Uh, uh, no, no. This has been recorded. Keep in mind. Um. For my protection and yours, this sign was not here ten seconds ago. Yes, it was in my eyes. And, uh, it wasn't. <laughs> In my, uh, therefore, in, in this my memory, path which is the past violation. five seconds, uh, it's always been there. Nope, 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 nope. Unless you're a goldfish, which I can confirm, definitely don't look like it. Also, this path here, very, very pellets. dangerous. Very dangerous, this path. How is someone on the slightly wider side meant to be oh, able to walk I've... down here? Uh, look, look, and, and when you fall down, you get stuck. Yep. And look at this poor, poor man. Whoa! Murder? <laughs> oh, did you see that? I cake? want their head. <laughs> I want their head. Oh, you are now going round quite psychotically, going, I want their heads and murdering animals. Laurie, are you, are you okay? <laughs> I'm perfectly sane. Go, go, Fuzzy. Go, Fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, so this is possibly a big problem. SOA is meant to be the one that's enforcing all the shop rules and stuff. And if there's two groups on the server doing the same thing, there's definitely going to be a problem between us and also the rest of the server's going to be happy because there's more laws and rules being enforced. An emergency meeting is definitely going to happen pretty soon. I definitely feel like this new group, the Building Safety Organization, is enforcing some pretty unrealistic um, enforcements like this. One of the things they said is uh, the fire exit isn't accessible. Uh, but the thing about this is this building is barely flammable at all. It's got some dark oak gates there. Well, that's flammable. Um, and these plants, but that's pretty much it because like because if I right clicked the if I right click this warped wood It doesn't light on fire because this wood isn't even flammable barely anything in this building is flammable So I think that's fine. Another thing he said was Toby's building doesn't have uh, lights on the roof and planes might hit it because there's no lights, but what do you mean Fuzzy? There's no planes in Minecraft. This is ridiculous. But yeah, emergency meeting needs to happen and we also need to build- Oh my gosh, I've done it again. We also need to build the SOA building. But emergency meeting and SOA building is going to have to wait till the next video because I'm going to end this video here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like over two weeks. Um, yeah, some real life stuff came up. But yeah, I'll be trying to go back to the weekly schedule as usual pretty soon. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, it helps me a lot and I really appreciate it and trust me, you'll want to come back for more. But yeah, I'm going to finish the video here, I really hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone, take care, bye bye. Boop.